Let's talk about drumsticks. Some people like really thin drumsticks. Some people like sort of medium drumsticks. Some people like big drumsticks. I am some people. I like big drumsticks. I think they feel great. I think that they're a lot more dynamic than people give them credit for. And I also feel like they just fit the way I play the drums. And that's not to say I have a specific style of playing. I think that large drumsticks can be very versatile and can also be very dynamic. Um, they're not just for loud whamming, even though that is mostly what I do on the drums. But today I wanted to sort of compare different 2B sized drumsticks, not only from a sake of personal feel, personal taste, but also from a sake of a producer's seat, to really see if there's a difference between the drumsticks you use in terms of like how fat you can make your snare sound, or how deep it allows the snare to be, or whether it cuts enough through the mix, or whether you need to spend that much money on a specialised version of a 2B in order to get a specific sound you're looking for. So we're going to be comparing four models today, we're using the Vic Firth American Classic 2B as our baseline. Then we're going to be looking at the Vic Firth American Classic Rock, the stick I use for most sessions. Then we're looking at the American Classic Metal, and then we're looking at the signature Thomas Lang stick. I should probably mention before this video starts, I have no affiliation with Vic Firth, as much as I'd like to. Um, these are all just sticks I have in my arsenal and have acquired over the years of me trying out different types of stick as well. We might also look at another point, the difference between hickory and maple, but for this video all of these sticks are hickory and are around the 2B category of size. So without further ado, here's some playing demos and we'll talk about the differences at the end. Let's have a look at some of the results. We'll start with the sound profile. Whether it is a case that the sticks I used were close enough in sort of diameter, or whether it was just that the whole idea of stick having an impact on sound being a, a lie or myth, um, I didn't find much of a difference in terms of the drums. But I did in terms of cymbal. Mostly when I was playing on the ride cymbal, um, the different tips of each sticks were interacting in a different way. Um, 
and depending on the weight of the stick, the ride was either more washy or it was more of a pingy. Um, especially with the Thomas Lang, that it basically played like as if I was using um, a 5A on a crash. Um, so there is that side of things. But with regards to the drums, outside of a couple of maybe different tones, um, the snare seemed a little bit deeper in tone with the Thomas Lang and the rock, but I didn't find much of a difference tonally um, in the way that the drums felt. Like, the snare didn't feel any fatter or any, like, deeper because I was using a specific stick. Um, but that may also be an ear thing. That might be what I'm hearing. You may hear a difference in which... Good for you. In regards to how the sticks felt, though, in my personal opinion, um, we'll start with a 2B. It... It wasn't for me. I don't know what it is um, about me and, like, standard stick typing. Um, I really, really just don't vibe with it. Um, I, think that, I think it's more a case of I like a stick that has a lot more throw to it, so a lot more weight at the top so I can really just dig in um, because of the way I play. I play quite physically, uh, especially when I'm playing heavier genres. And this stick just wasn't giving me that, um, and that's mostly down to the taper. That said, in regards to articulation, this stick was probably the best. Um, the tip didn't blow out the ride too much, and I was able to get like a nice ride cymbal sound with just a, enough wash to it, really. Um, so it's a nice stick, but not for me. Um, the other stick I had quite a few problems with, and I really don't like, is um, the classic metal stick. Um, and that's really one reason it's the length. I never really dug on the whole long stick, like fad. Um, I tried some of the Vic Firth freestyle stuff and for me the length is just too much. I kept like I was, I kept overthrowing some of the shots because I was so used to having a smaller stick really. I, I wouldn't ever go any longer than 16 and a half inches or 16 and a quarter for a drumstick and 17 inches, just, it's a bit too much for me. But I can see why they call it the metal stick, because I'm imagining if you're a drummer with, like, four rack toms, two floor toms, and cymbals all the way up here, and you're trying to play like that, um, this is probably a very easy to use, as well as getting volume out of a heavy stick. Moving on to the sticks that I really actually quite liked, um, we'll start with the rock, because it's my stick of choice. I love this thing. Um, it's the right amount of weight, the right amount of girth, it's just it's top heavy so it, it throws into the drums really nicely and you get a nice really fat sound out of it, especially when playing a rim shot and really digging into the um, snare. It's great, I mean the one thing I wish personally that it didn't actually have is the tip. I think the tip could be a bit more articulate but I look past that because it's just such a gorgeous stick and I love it so much. Now, on to something that surprised me. I really like this. Um, I was not expecting to like this as much. I, I, this was, I, I thought this was going to be the gimmick stick of the, the bunch, um, because initial predisposition, I thought the metal was just kind of what would you would consider a freestyle 2B, I guess. However, of all the sticks that I played, this one allowed me to have the most control, I think. Um, now whether that's because the weight allows me to control it better, or whether that's because there's just more stick in the hand so I can really just use my hand more than I have to use fingers, so there's just more contact points to the stick. I don't know, but I really liked it. I mean, the one thing I think could improve um, would be the tip, because the tip just makes every ride a crash symbol. Um, unless you're playing like a really heavy, pingy ride, think like the Minor Serpents ride or um, like a Zildjian Megabell or something. But these are actually incredible and I really like these and I might keep these in my stick bag as a warm-up stick at least to when I move over to the rock. It feels like a lighter stick maybe. Right, that does it for me in this video. I'm going to stop talking because I hate the sound of my own voice. But feel free to let me know what stick you use in the comments and why you like it. As well as if you think there is any difference that you get between a drumstick and the recorded sound you get out of using different types of sticks. 
And if you swap between different states, which ones do you use? Do you use 5As and 5Bs, or do you choose between a 7A and a 5A, or a 5B and a 3A? What, what do you use? Let me know. But um, other than that, covers come out first Thursday of every month, and I'm still putting out other videos, such as gear videos, as well as the odd composition here and there, so stay tuned for that stuff. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.